Hello, I'm here with George from Corsair. George, we spoke about this just a couple of minutes ago, but you are super excited about a power supply. Now, why? <laughs> I'm very excited about a power supply. We have the world's first uh, digital power supply for computer users that are building their own gaming rigs and uh, overclocking rigs. This is, uh, uh, by digital what I mean is, is that instead of having the traditional kind of analog components that are in the feedback loop, we replaced it with a DSP. So you have a digital signal processor that can actively change voltage regulation and, and affect the efficiency and the ripple and noise of the power supply. So it adds for a really, really nice uh, platform for power output, and it, it lets you actively monitor that stuff instead of just kind of passively using it in the old style, the, the traditional style of power supplies. So this is what I think the kind of future of, of end user power supplies will be, computer user power supplies. They've been doing it in data centers for a long time, but I think for, for customers, this is what we'll see for the next year, two years, three years. This is where everything is going to be going. Um, it offers a couple of benefits that we'll talk about here. First off, it is uh, a successor in the AX line, which means that it's, it's very highly efficient. This is platinum certified. Uh, it's also fully modular, as all the AX products are. It includes a 140 millimeter fan that's a double ball bearing fan, it's thermally controlled. And because it's so efficient, it actually is a fanless uh, power supply at low loads. So up to about 40% load, it's fanless, uh, which is really nice because that on a 1200 watt power supply means you can run up to about 480 watts or so before the fan even turns on. Very, very quiet product. Uh, because it's digital, we also have Corsair Link integrated into it. We were able to monitor and change some of the feedback settings. So if you have Corsair Link, like the commander unit itself, it'll plug into that. If you don't have Corsair Link, it comes with the USB dongle that you can see there. And you just plug that into a USB header on your motherboard and plug this cable into it from the power supply. And that will allow you to download the Corsair Link software off our website and monitor and change some of the settings on the power supply. For example, you can monitor real-time efficiency uh, with power input and power output. You can set multi-rail versus single rail in software. So by default, it's a single rail product. But if you are comfortable with multi-rail uh, and you want to set it up as multi-rail, you can set the indi individual overcurrent protection points on each of the PCI Express uh, connectors. So you can say, hey, my video card, I want to run at 30 amp OCP. And my CPU, I want to run at 20 amp OCP. You can manually set that. And all this comes from the fact that it is a digital power supply. Yeah, because it's digital and because we were able to put this, this uh, feedback loop into the power supply uh, and be able to adjust that, we were able to do it on software as well. So we can do some input and data controlling. There's a way to do some data control without doing digital, but it's a much cleaner solution. You can do it much more actively with this. Um, the other side is you can change fan speeds. Um, if you click the fan, by default it's in the quiet mode. So that's the, the, the bottom of the fail safe level. We've made it as quiet as possible by default. But if you, for example, would like to use the PSU fan as an additional case exhaust and bump that RPM up, you can certainly up the RPM of the fan and turn it up uh, much higher. But you can see here, right now, it's running about 270 watts of output, 300 watts of output. If I close out a firmark, um, it'll drop down to its idle temps, which are around or idle wattage output, about 170 watts. This is a beta of the next gen of Corsair Link software, so it's not 100% complete, but it's about uh, what we're going to be seeing. And it'll let you monitor power output not only on each individual PCI Express connector, uh, but also let you monitor it on all the uh, peripheral connectors as well and the 24 pin ATX. So when you plug in a new video card, you can actually monitor this and say, oh, my new video card uses 10 more watts than my old video card, uh, which actually makes it really useful. I tell, you, you I tell you what, George, I was just about to say, you've solved a huge problem <laughs> for us guys, because generally what we do is just say at the wall, this PC consumes this much yeah. with a GTX 680. Yeah. With a different card, it's this much. Mm -hmm. Now, if the PSU tells you what you're using, yeah. that's just a bonus. Exactly. And it actually tells you by connector, too. So if you wanted to plug in, like, three GPUs, you can actually say, hey, when I run SLI, card one uses this much power, card two uses that much power, and card three uses this much power. And you can actually map that in different games because you can log everything with the, the logging uh, software. So it actually lets you graph it and then set everything to a log. And then you can actually just open that file, you know, and you want to run a game for a couple hours and then open it up to see what your efficiency or power load was across that. It'll log it. You can send it to a data CSV file or a text file or Excel file, and it'll all let you uh, open it up. Just to change gears for a second, mm -hmm. we've just spoken about digital, the benefits of it. But from a topology point of view, mm -hmm. as in how you construct a power supply, does digital give you benefits? Obviously, the analog can't. Less resistance going through the power supply. Yes. So therefore, better regulation better suppression of AC? 
Yeah, it does allow you to, to adjust some of those things. Typically, as you try and uh, output higher and higher power ratings, you have to worry about things like the ripple and noise uh, generated. Uh, you have to worry about voltage regulation anyway, uh, no matter what your power output is. But especially with high uh, power loads, voltage regulation, longer cables, things like that have to be adjusted for. So they add uh, components, various resistors and things like that, in, and capacitors into that line to clean it up. If you remove some of those analog components and replace them with a digital signal processor, with a DSP, you've uh, gotten rid of a lot of the resistance problems, which helps you hit that efficiency level you were talking about, and it can adjust some of the ripple and noise and voltage regulation side of stuff. So it actually is kind of a, a, a one-shot solution to fix multiple problems. Um, the other benefit is right now it's still fairly expensive because DSPs are not very widely used in power supplies for the end users, but it allows you to reduce component count. So in the long term, as the economics of scale pick up, we feel like a lot more power supplies at all kinds of price ranges will be digital. And this is just the first in our you know, lineup. We'll have much more digital stuff coming forward in the next year or two. So you expect this time next year, if we're talking again, and we will be, you're going to have mainstream power supplies with DSPs yeah. that do all this fancy trickery, which is actually on the face of it, quite useful for enthusiasts yeah. who want to know every single what, where it goes to, what it does, yeah. etc. Yeah, I, I foresee next year we'll see kind of a, you know, a little bit high-end mainstream um, and mainstream and high-end mainstream stuff, um, and then probably Computex 2014 or whatever. What I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, a multitude of different vendors with digital power supplies at the, you know, $70, $80 level. So, you know, kind of your standard TX level, GS level for us would have digital integrated into it as well. Right. So here and now, AX1200i, mm -hmm. how much, how soon? AX1200i is available late July, early August, and it's $349 uh, US. Right. I'll do a really, really fancy conclusion, but I can't because George has told me absolutely everything I want to know about this power supply.